<laughs> Time for me to wake up. Oh, oh, hi, human. I'm the amazing thing, Seed. How are you? It's almost time for me to wake up. When a seed wakes up and starts to grow into a plant, that process is called germination. Germination, isn't that a big impressive word? Just like the tree I'm going to grow into. But first things first, I need to check my alarm clocks. For a seed to wake up, a number of conditions must be met. I need correct moisture, right temperature, proper nutrients and the exact amount of sunlight. I'm a fussy guy. If all these conditions are not met, I refuse to germinate. But today, my friend, is a glorious day to grow. Look closely. I may look like a simpleton, but there is more to me. A seed coat to keep me safe. A stash of food supply to feed me until I'm old enough to bake my own food. They call it cotyledon and a baby tree, an embryo. That's all me. It's almost time. Lo and behold, my friend, here comes my root. Oh, how marvelous! And that's my shoot. Look at my beautiful tender green leaves. Isn't it great that I decided to germinate and soon in a few years time. Ah, now I'm a fully grown tree. Ain't I handsome? I have flowers and fruits of my own and yes my own seeds too. These seeds will travel far and wide to spread my kingdom. How do seeds travel you ask? I'll tell you. We seeds you remember are a little fussy. We'll germinate only if all the conditions are met. Sunlight, moisture, nutrition and temperature. Now tell me, if all my seeds decide to stay close to me, will they all have enough nutrition or sunshine? Exactly! There's no way all of them can flourish here. I am blocking their sunlight and I am sharing their food from soil. They've got to go. So, they need to pack their suitcases and hitch a ride. This movement of seed is called dispersal. Who gives the seed a ride, you ask? Well, we have many friends who help us to travel from one place to another. Like, like wind. Wind is one of our friends. It takes us around. Especially the helicopter seeds or seeds with plumes undergo journeys on the wings of weed. Helicopter-like seeds use weeds to drift away to a favorable location and seeds with plumes travel with the help of wind. Animals help us too. Sometimes animals eat a fruit and the seed pass through them undigested or ready to grow. Some seeds have hooks and they hitch a direct ride on animals. And hey, water can be a great way to travel too. No boats needed for fruits like coconuts. We float to islands far away. So friends, just like wind and water, Animals do help us to ride to different places, so many ways, so we can grow into glorious trees and enjoy our fair share of sunshine. Quite an adventurous life for someone who started so small. 